Welcome back everybody. Now I got a question for you. Uh, rate it away. Right at the beginning of the video. I have a question for you. That is going to be super hard to subtitle, but are you guys looking for a super advanced starter seed? How about one with uh, maybe a couple villages right off your spawn point? Well, that, that this video's got what you're looking for. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Top 5 Seed Series. Variety is this episode. I just found random seeds for 1.19.4 uh, Java Edition, and it, it just went from there. Now, if you guys want to fact check me, uh, chunk base is in the description. And I don't want to waste your time. The intros are the most important thing to keep below 10 seconds. I've wrecked that. Seed number one, please. Alrighty, guys. Coming in at seed number one, we're going to have the... Okay, okay, we're going to start out... We're going to start out just by flying up, where we're going to look in this direction. And obviously, we're going to have a village right here, right? We're going to have a ruinous portal, and then we're going to have a pillager outpost. But then what I want you to do is turn around, because you're going to notice something. You have a village here, and you have a village here. That's right, your spawn point has three villages. But what I want to do right away is actually head toward this one, because this one's the one that has the significant value. When we head toward this one, we're going to notice that this village isn't too crazy, right? Ruinous portal, everything's pretty typical. We have this pillager outpost with three cells for allay. So you're going to be able to get the new allays and breed them. And there, there's a lot here. This is actually a really good pillager outpost. But then you're going to have your fourth village just chilling over here. Now, this is actually a savanna village that's grown into a forest biome. So it already looks pretty cool. But yeah, you're going to have this really interesting. Now, now, okay, okay, moving on. Let's go over to the other villages, right? If we head over in the opposite direction, you're going to find you're going to get even more loot. You have this village here, and, it, and they're almost like a trading post, right? You have this village that does have a blacksmith. Have no fear, you're going to be able to get the blacksmith loot from this one. But then it has, like, two docks that stick out. And then if we take a boat, we can head over to our, like, really really weird village that's actually spawned in the middle of the lake i didn't really realize that the first time around but you get this weird village spawned in the middle of the lake so you have four villages you have a lot of interesting terrain and a villager outpost with three allay chambers i i like it it's cool sue me now coming in at seed number two it's just a lot of interesting terrain okay there's no big villages or three villages right off the bat but it is quite quite beautiful terrain you can already see in the background as i'm moving around here you're gonna have absolute mega mountain ranges check it out you're gonna have this beautiful uh, i guess this is like a, a snowy peak biome i'm not really sure oh goat you get a goat too but you get this beautiful snowy peak and then kind of connected to it kind of not you have a beautiful valley and then you have more you like it's just insane the amount of everything in this seed is just insane i i love it check it out and then and then and then if we go over here there's even more right because it's a giant mountain range it looks beautiful check it out more more mountains this isn't a very long clip i understand but this seed is just way too beautiful to overlook now you want to go adventuring you can click the chunk base link in the description and find the uh, ancient cities that are below it but that is entirely up to you. <laughs> if that's something you want to do, do it. Now, coming in at seed number three, it's kind of along the same lines, except you do have a village right off the bat. And this village is beautiful. Look at it. It actually stretches up the side of this mountain range. And I'm kind of, I wanted to avoid that. But look at this river. Look at the cliffs. You guys know I'm a sucker for cliffs. I'm an absolute sucker for cliffs. And they look so good. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I, I'm actually I'm genuinely that excited over seeds, but and then if we go this direction, you're gonna find that there's beautiful mountain ranges right next to a jungle biome, and then over here there's more cliffs that are oh my god, this is so cool that are just right in the middle of the ocean. That is so cool. It's just a little canyon, and then if we follow the canyon over, oh my god look at it it's so beautiful you're gonna get this mesa biome you're gonna get this beautiful peak the stony peak biome and then it goes into the what are these like the wooded badlands or something like that it is beautiful just just this shot alone might actually be the thumbnail I'm not gonna lie there is a strong chance that like this shot was the thumbnail or maybe the village one I haven't decided yet all right, this is this is still seed number three, but I did forget something. Go past the village. Go past the village, right? That llama just yelled at me. Go past the village 
and you're actually not gonna find what I thought you were gonna find? What the heck, where is it? Okay, now I'm on a quest. Is it past the village in this direction? It must be. It has to be, right? Th this is what seed, this is, yeah, there it is. <laughs> if you're ever wondering what it's like when I'm uh, reviewing the seeds before showing you guys, that's what it's like. So if we go past the village in this direction, which is the proper direction, uh, go this way, you're gonna find a giant mushroom island. So there is more to this seed. I forgot to show it, my bad. Don't hate me. Ooh, it has a, it has a, what, what are those things called? The cool caves, the, the lush caves. Eh, I did have a really bad pun for seed number four, but I'm not gonna say it because I'm not a cringy YouTuber. In seed number four, we have this, and this is cool, okay? You may look at this and be like, Justin, why is this cool? This looks kind of lame. Yeah, okay, I see where you're coming from, right? I see that you, you disagree with me until you realize these are giant islands. You realize that you have multi-biome islands off of spawn. Look at it, it's freaking beautiful. These aren't connected, this is connected. This is connected to mainland, this doesn't exist. But if we go over here, it does. It's completely disconnected. You have this beautiful terrain with multiple biomes and you could do a survival island. Let's play here and I, I'm a sucker for survival island let's plays if you guys know me. That's all I wanted to show from this seat, that's it. That's all, but there you go. You get a survival island with multi-biomes. Okay, moving on. Now, last but certainly not least, we have seed number five, where you're gonna spawn in a really interesting spot, and you can already tell why I call this an interesting spot. You have this weird kinda, I guess it's like an above ground pool that's completely frozen, but that it almost looks like it's leaking out. It's just cool. The spawn point in this seed is really cool, but the rest of this seed is really interesting too. No generations, no crazy uh, triple village like the first seed, but if we take a look around, you're gonna notice that there's some pretty interesting cliff systems, nothing too crazy. So if you're, you're new to the game, this isn't gonna be overwhelming, this isn't gonna be crazy, but you have so many biomes, you have so many cliffs, you have such potential around this little lake. Like, take a look, you have a snowy peak, you have a birch forest, a regular forest, a birch forest, a roofed forest, a birch forest, a birch forest, a roofed forest. Okay, maybe you don't have that much variety, but it's all around this really interesting place. <laughs> I don't know, uh, this deed got me with the pool and the cool little mountain and the fact that everything's kinda just surrounding this lake Man, just, I just kind of liked it. It just looked cool. Maybe you don't like this seed. Well, it's the last one, so, I mean, you can click off now if you hated it. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been five random seeds. I don't know. I just found some cool seeds and wanted to show them off today. I went to back, back to the roots. Now, I am recording on an old setup that I'm really not a huge fan of. I'm waiting for my interface to come back. So, if you guys want to hit subscribe and support me, even though I'm using audio equipment that I don't like, that would be amazing. I appreciate it more you can ever believe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.